Hello lovely people, my name is Andy Woolley and in this video we're going to look at another AI tool called AnyWord and we're going to put it through its paces and see what it's like for producing a real article to go on in my affiliate sites. So hopping over onto the other screen so you can see here we are, we've logged in, I've got an account with them, I've done a couple of blogs already just to get a flavour of how this one operates. If we choose a new project here we're obviously going to choose to do a blog as opposed to any of the other options that are there so simply clicking on that create new project just wait for that load up so describe the blog you want to create so i want to talk about valerian root valerian root and its benefits for anxiety and bear with me i've just got it on the other screen insomnia Okay, so and insomnia. Okay, so there are obviously I could do my due diligence and look at other articles, but for the moment I'm just literally going to see what the AI technology gives me and build an article around that. Okay, so the industry is alternative medicine. Yep, yeah, perfectly happy with that because this is for a uh, my spices uh, plate dot com website, which is all about health um, health benefits from herbs and spices by all accounts. Uh, keywords. Obviously, valerian root. Um, I, I can obviously repeat anxiety, insomnia, but more importantly, I think that I should give it some more context. So health benefits, um, I think we'll give it a little bit more. Um, title, I don't have one, so let's generate one. Obviously, I could go by the very one that I put in the top. So 10 health benefits of valerian root. That's not bad. And then obviously that gives me a nice sort of rich snippet approach by doing the bullet points. Health benefits of valerian root. Valerian root. I really want to knock on the difference between. So I'm going to edit this again. I'm not happy with that because health benefits is not specific enough. So let's go back to valerian root. Let's now put in anxiety and insomnia so obviously it needs to be educated to be more specific and we could put in there so uh the health benefits will be a little bit more descriptive on this as well the health oh get the spelling right the health benefits oh i can't spell I can't spell i've got tourette's spelling today benefits of valerian root and how that helps and how that helps for anxiety and insomnia okay but i've got my keywords in there now so it should be able to bring out for the two main benefits let's reapply and see what it gives us give us exactly the same that can't be right can it <laughs> generate more yes so let's see let's see so there you are a little bit more specific now so seven health benefits quite like that one health benefits uh valerian root insomnia and anxiety how it helps okay that's not too bad health benefits of valerian root and how that, how that helps for anxiety and insomnia it's a bit long-winded i'm gonna go this one because it keeps it on point how it helps and that allows me then to introduce then the conditions and how that particular uh herb is going to help us so we'll go with that one then we need an outline, so it's going to generate some uh, subcategories, hopefully, here. So, yeah, perfect. Seems obvious. Introduce what is Valerian Root to start with. How does it help anxiety and insomnia? Yeah, perfectly plausible. Is there any scientific proof that Valerian works? I like that. But wait, what, else, what about those side effects? Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind that as well. So, yeah, let's go to the next section. I could obviously ask for more, but I'm quite happy with that. And then I'll come to basically a conclusion to it, which we'll do later on anyway. Right, here's the selection of just two intros. So you may have heard about the health of it works. This hardly explains. So the first one's on the money. It's clean, it's consistent, tells you what it is. The second one. Okay, I much prefer the second one. It's much more on point, gets keywords in there and introduces the idea, obviously, around the anxiety and the insomnia. So we'll take that. Now we press, let's go to the editor. So it's a similar sort of process as you've seen in Article Forge and Conversion.ai um, that they're all sort of set it up and then go off into the editor where you you can obviously then get a little bit more out of it. Now, where any word differs slightly is it 
pre-populates the individual areas with those subtitles. And you can obviously add more or less to them, but it gives you pretty much on the page a format. And therefore you can balance it the way you want it. You can move things around because obviously I can move these up or down as you can see on the screen. So I can change the order if I need to. I'm not, I'm more than happy with the order here. But then when I'm ready, I can come alongside any one of those individual paragraphs and I can generate the content. So let's do that. Let's see what it gives us. Obviously I can choose the length. I'm just going to go medium for the moment because I'm, I'm not looking for a large article here. 600 words plus, I would be more than happy. Let me just read through this to see the context is correct. OK, yeah, kind, kind of like that. Yeah, there's some spelling to do, but we can do our you know spelling once I take it into the back end of WordPress. I'll do all my Grammarly in there and make sure it's um, optimized. I quite like that. Uh, happy days. I can obviously add a new section if need be, but for the moment, I'm more than happy with that. How does it help anxiety, anxiety and insomnia? Let's change that now to long, just to give us context of how it differs from the previous paragraph. And again, let's generate it. And, it, and where any word obviously takes a slightly different approach, it does this on a piecemeal approach rather than doing the whole article like conversion in AI or Jarvis.ai does, where like in the boss mode, it just continuously keeps going. I quite like how it does it on smaller sections. So I'm kind of hoping then that's a lot more specific to the niche. So I'm just going to read through that in a minute. OK, makes a nice reference in there. OK, that's fine. I wonder if I can add more to it. So if I regenerate, will it change this or will it delete it? Let's play safe. I'm just going to copy that a minute because I quite like that. I don't want to lose it. And generations are based on your description and your heading. Editing your section will change your generated output. So chances are I'm going to lose that. So how do I add more to it if I want it? That's my key. Maybe if we add a new section, and obviously I need to put a new heading in there and generate it. So it treats it as a separate entity. But let's let's you know break everything to see how it really works. Let's regenerate. So there you are. It's given me a warning. Regenerate this section. Any word will replace the current text with a new suggestion. Okay, let's do that. I've copied and pasted it anyway, so I'm not going to technically lose it. I've already got it. Uh, but we'll see what it comes up with. So rewriting it, uh, come to used. And OK, I wouldn't say that was any better because it's almost like a repeat of what I introduced in the first part. So I'm simply going to delete that and repaste the original back in. Control V, job done. Uh, I don't need this section, so I'm going to simply delete it over here and delete that. Nice. Again here, I'm going to go for the long one, see what it gives me and generate it. I like how it closes off the sentences. Some of the um, AI tools don't necessarily do that, that work under the GPT format. They literally just go to the character length and stop. So just read this one now. Is there any scientific proof that Valerian works? Yes, a number of studies. And it makes a reference to a study, which is great. I can create then a backlink for that. So that's good. That'll add more value from an optimizing point of view. Um, OK, yeah, that's all right. It's not particularly long if that's what they consider as long. But wait, are there any side effects? So again, let's have a look here and let's generate. So I would say, as you can see here, um, and we're going to test this in a minute to see how many words are on there. OK, so Valerian is generally well tolerated. Most people have an acts of neurotransmitters in our body. OK, yeah, that's fine. And then all I do is put a in conclusion at the end. Um, let's have a look. I can use something called SEO Minion. That will tell me roughly how many words are on the page. Oh, it's only seeing one. Lovely. So it can't see it because it must be in iframes. So let's add a new section here. And I'm simply going to put in conclusion. Let's see if it's smart enough to know that there is a relationship between these paragraphs. And I come here. And I'm going to keep that medium and let's generate and see if it understands the content that went before it to write. 
Now I know that happens in Jarvis and certainly in Article Forge. And here again, it does exactly the same. So again, you can see AI technology working for you. Valerian root is one of those long-standing herbal supplements that's been around for hundreds of years, many factors. Yeah, I like it, it's simple. Right, okay, so how do we export this now into a Word document and then we can use it and put it in our Word uh, WordPress? Uh, so that is check for plagiarism. Okay, let's, let's do that, let's have a look. Or better still, we'll come on one of these others to do the scientific, something more specific where there's a higher probability there might be plagiarism. So let's just click on that and let's see how good it is. So there it says it's 100% unique. Um, do we trust that? Well, you know what? Easiest way to do this is copy paste. Let's open Chrome and let's just pop it in there. Bear with me, I'm just closing down my other windows. Um, copy it all in and press return. And did you mean? OK, and there's nothing else coming up with it. So good. Yeah, so it's plagiarism free. Fantastic. OK, lovely. Right. How do I copy out the whole article? There it is. It's at the top. And it also takes stock of the amount of pages. So I kind of do need to add something a little bit more in there. Right. OK, this is where I can use the power of the Internet in tandem with the AI software to get what I'm after. So if I type, type that into Chrome, Look for some of the related terms here. Does Valerian help insomnia? Uh, how long does Valerian take to work? Now, that's not a bad one. Let's use that as a title. So we come in here. What is Valerian root? How does it work? Is there any scientific proof? Let's put a new section in here. Let's put that heading in there. And then let's generate that. It keeps it on track. It's still answering the initial query. So we're not deviating at all. But we need to get at least over 600 words, more so to give enough frequency for the search engines when they're crawling it, Google predominantly, that it can see the frequency of the words in there, like Valerian root and anxiety and insomnia, that it can read that's what I want to rank for. So just quickly read through this. Uh, there's something, no answer. Some people feel it affects immunity, others. OK, so an indifferent answer, but that's kind of fine. Um, it makes reference to other bits and pieces in there as well. Some anti-anxiety medications or sleeping pills. I like that. That's fine. Let's just go back on here. Can make insomnia worse? How much valerian root should I take for panic attacks? OK, the thing is, if I have more now, I'm starting to go off on the tangents. I kind of want to keep this general. So let's go up to the top, 589 words. I'm happy with that. I'm not trying to overkill it with just padding for padding's sake. If I copy that now and um, copy it, and I come onto the back end of my spicesplate.com, let's jump on the back end of it. Do, do, do. There we are. Like, let's jump up to the post. And if we post this straight in, let's add a new one. Never goes as fast as you want, but this is, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do this over the shoulder in real time. Uh, I've probably got too many tabs open. That's my problem. Come on, come on, open it. Right. Almost there, almost there. Right. And let's paste that in. So titles in there, that's there. Uh, it's given numbers alongside those. So obviously I need to optimize this now. Put the H2, H3 tags in there, optimize them for smaller sentences and do my due diligence. So I'm going to speed through this so you don't have to watch this part of the uh, equation. So uh, join me in a minute. And here we are, right? So let's preview this now. As you can see, it's now being generated. There's a nice image that is quite aesthetically pleasing in keeping with the overall branding of the website. The title's there. It's listed under the natural herbs, so it's in the right category. Posted today, as you can see, 28th of September. And nicely broken down, so that would read comfortably on the internet. And if we look at that then through my SEO minion, and you can see the number of words, it actually is a thousand words on there as well. So actually, it's not a bad little article, probably taking us about 10, 15 minutes, and that's it, done. So 
Thank you. Thank you for joining me in this video. As you can see here, another great AI tool, AnyWord. Please check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. And, you know, you can see how easy it is to actually generate content specific to your need. That's it. See you in another video. Thank you. Join me then.